Now I want to do some examples where we use our z-score chart to relate z-scores to area under the standard normal curve. Okay, so here's an example. I want to determine the percentage of the area to the left of z equals 1.3. So I draw pictures of every single one of these problems so that I make sure I'm not making bad assumptions. Okay, so here's my standard normal curve. Of course, z equals 0 is right in the middle. And then z equals 1.3 is over here to the right somewhere. And I want the area to the left of z equals 1.3. So what that means is I want the area, not just the area to the left of the mean, all of the area to the left of this z value, okay? So I clearly need to, the only z score I have is 1.3. I need to go to my chart and find the area that corresponds to that. So I've got my chart on another screen here. We're going to look up z equals 1.3. So whenever I go to my Z column, come down to 1.3, the area is 0 .403, 0 .403, or 40.3%. Okay, so that means where is this 40.3% in this chart, or in this uh, normal curve? 40.3% remembers the area to the mean from my z-score. So this area is 40.3 percent. That's not the entire yellow shaded region. So I need to know the area of this portion over here as well. But we know that because that's exactly half of the normal curve. So that area is 50 percent. So we're looking for both of those together, so we're going to add 50% plus 40.3%, which gives us 90.3%. That's the answer to the question. Okay? To sort of interpret the answer to that question, what this means is 90.3% of the data values are less than positive 1.3 standard deviations above the mean. Okay? So, could be positive z-scores that are less than 1.3 and of course negative z-scores because they're definitely less than 1.3. Let's see another example. Now we want the percentage of the area between z equals negative 0.4 and positive 0.9, okay? So let's locate z equals 0 right in the middle. And I apologize for the poor pictures here, but I hope they help, help you visually understand what's happening. z equals negative 0.4 is over here and z equals 0 0.9, positive 0 0.9 is over here. And we want, what we want is the percentage of the area between those, so those are these areas here. Sorry, that's the area here, shaded across the mean. So I'm certainly going to look up both of the A values for these z-scores. So let's look up the area for 0 0.9, a z-value of 0 0.9. So I go to my Z column and I locate 0 0.9. I'm going to have to scroll here. For 0 0.9, A is 0 0.316. Let's write that down. Okay. Let's go look up. Remember, because this, is, this curve is symmetric, I'm going to look up positive 0.4 in the particular chart that I'm using because negative Z scores are not listed. So I'm going to look up 0.4 in my chart for my Z score and that is over here. We get an A of 0.155. Now what are these areas? This is of course 31.6 percent. This is 15.5 percent. And these are areas from the z-score to the mean. Okay, 
So 31.6% is the area from the mean over to 0.9. So that's 31.6%. 15.5% is from the mean over to negative 0.4. So what is the area of the yellow region? Well, I have to add those two areas together. Let's see, that would be 42.1%. So 42% of the data values are between those two z-scores. Okay. Let's do a similar example. but let's change negative 0.4 to positive 0.4 alright the picture is going to look different now so I'm going to draw my curve again like I always do okay locate z equals 0 locate roughly z equals 0.4 and z equals 0.9 let me to keep it from being too... here let's do this. I'm finding myself um, writing too small so what I'm going to do is since I'm only looking at positive z values I'm going to just draw the right side of the curve to make it easier to see. So 0.4 let's say and 0.9. Now those are exaggerations of where they are but we're just getting an idea. Okay? So, we already know from our previous example that the A value, the area for Z equals 0.4 is 15.5% and for 0.9 it's 31.6%. In this problem we want the area between these two Z scores so now we're talking about this area. All right. So if we were to look at this and interpret what each of these areas represent from our chart, 31.6% is the area from the mean over to 0.9, which is this way. So that whole area, that total area is 31.6%. That is not what we want. Okay, so let's think about that. We also, let me change the color of, well here, yeah let's change the color of this guy so we can kind of color code this, it's a little harder to see. Let's make this green. So this 15.5% is the area from the mean to 0.4. So that's 15.5%, this area just in this region here, okay? So how do I get the area of the yellow region? Well, you can see that 31.6% is too big, too much. That's not that's bigger than the area of the yellow region. 15.5% is not the yellow region at all. But if I subtract subtract 15.5% from the area that's too big, it's going to leave behind my yellow area. So in this case, we have to subtract the areas. 31.6% minus 15.5% I think is 16.1%. So the area of the yellow region is 16.1%. So that's the percentage of the area between those two z-scores. So you really have to draw your diagrams to figure out which area you want to find and how to use arithmetic to calculate that area from the areas in the chart. So always draw diagrams to visually see the area then think about how to use the areas from the chart to calculate the desired area. Okay. And that's all there is to using the chart. Make sure that you understand the chart gives you areas 
to the mean. So the chart only gives areas measured to the mean. Keep that in mind as you work problems related to this concept.